Good evening, everyone. This is American Priest, and I'm doing a series, a website, a podcast, and some YouTube videos, all on physical immortality, the Philosopher's Stone, the Elixir of Life. There's a lot about alchemy out there on the web, but for me, the alchemy I am focused on is literal physical immortality, the Elixir of Life, meaning not some eternal soul going on, um, but actually the physical body you're in and living forever. Uh, not, not just extending your life 10 years, 20 years with uh, diet and exercise, <clears throat> but actually being a physical immortal and being alive 400 years from now. It is my conviction and belief, although I've never met them personally, that there are physical immortals walking this world. There are many accounts in history in Taoist literature, in the literature of most uh, mystical sects of different religions, of physical immortals walking among us now. Um, usually they had to fake their own death or relocate, or they had to, um, I don't know, probably just switch up countries a whole lot, any number of things. But <clears throat> regardless, I believe it is possible, and I'm going to take you there. I am American Priest, and my website is AmericanPriest.com. And there is a few, or there are a few, physical immortality cults out there right now. They're called cults uh, negatively because some of them are making quite a lot of money with their workshops and seminars and self-help books. And I'm certainly not here to bash them. I think uh, some of the ones I've heard actually have some really good stuff. The first thing being that the first order of business, if you are going to live forever, is to believe that it is possible. And when I say believe it's possible, you don't need to know 100%. I'm not really sure that's possible on anything in life to know 100%. I'm not sure there's 100% guarantees of anything. But to believe it's possible to live forever and believe enough that you can do a visual imagining, um, an imaginative meditation where you can actually start to picture yourself being alive 100 years from now. 200 years from now, 300 years from now, uh, you start believing it's possible. Um, to help you with this belief, there's actually a whole lot of scientific literature coming out now about the extension of life, and there are actual scientists, not, not mystics, combing the internet and, and meditating in monasteries, but there's actual scientists devoting a whole lot of research time and money in their entire careers for... Um, the technology and medicine that can prolong life indefinitely and there's there's quite a few respected scientists that believe it's possible within the next 20 and 30 years so regardless of anything i say regardless of any mind body exercises i might talk about um they may come up with just some medicine for you but for our purposes here <clears throat> i would like to start with the notion of simply believing that you can live forever because as we're born in this society in this culture and it is probably the case in just about every culture on this planet right now there is a belief in death there is a belief that you are going to die there may not initially be that belief um, I don't know if you can remember when you were a little kid when you first realized that you will die, that people don't just die because of accidents or murders or car crashes or something bad happening. Uh, they, they can actually just die of old age and that that actually applies to you too. And you do die. Um, I remember I was probably about five or six before I could really, um, before I, I, I think I got that the first time. And uh, 
it was quite a shock. But but after after the shock, it it soon just becomes um, an assumption that's never again questioned. Uh, but it's interesting that we're not born with that assumption. We're not born with the assumption we'll die of old age. Um, we get pretty early that you can be killed if you're reckless. Um, that the body can sustain a blow or, or take a blow that it, it won't live through. Um, but we're not born with anything, any notion that if, as long as we stay out of trouble, um, you know, we'll still end up dead. Uh, I, th I think I thought like, as long, you know, as long as I was careful and didn't get into any bad accidents, I could, you know, I could go as long as I wanted. And, uh, then my parents told me otherwise, and the whole world uh, supported that belief. So the point being, from an early age, um, your mind and the minds of those around you are constantly giving you and um, subsequently giving your body the message that it will die. So, so you, have, you have your own mind and you have the mind of the planet both continuing to give your body the message that it's going to die. And it, it starts to almost uh, get ingrained in your muscles, um, in your nervous system, in your cells, uh, in, in every, every bit of your physical makeup. Um, so the first step would be to undo that. And if you're skeptical about any of this, just just try for the next few days when you're when you're thinking about it when you have a pause in your day when you're waiting somewhere just think is it really possible to live forever what if i live forever um what if i really could what if i just could train my body with my mind uh, that my body would live forever how would my body respond and what's happened for me with this meditation is the body starts to kind of slow down. It's almost like the body starts adjusting. Oh, okay, we're in this for the long haul. There's no hurry. Um, you know, because that's a whole different perspective mentally. But that mental perspective will shift your body too. Oh, okay. No reason to, no reason to uh, blow out energy now. Um, I'm going to be here for a long, long time. I'm going to be here forever. Um, and, and if you just keep thinking like that, um, you, you, at least for me, I can get into a state where my heart rate slows down. Um, I'm feeling more relaxed and more energetic at the same time. And I'm feeling more confident at the same time. So that's my intro to physical immortality. And this is American Priest, and I'll talk to you again very soon.